but yeah, definitely Ron G, Brucey Reed, K Capri, and Clue. Those were the tapes I was copping as a young boy going back and forth to Virginia to Harlem and getting the fly tapes. Tapes. No mix, no mix like CDs. Yeah. I'm talking the 80s. Yeah. You dig? Don't let the young boy like shades fool you, you know what I mean? The 80s and shit. Yeah, a lot of people don't really, uh, they don't even really re remember that right now. Uh, look, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know, man. They don't do the history or they just don't fucking care to know. You know what I mean? They just, they like to get smooth, man. Back in the day, you had to hunt that shit up. You can't do that no more, man. You know what I mean? You can't hunt it out. It's, it's been, you can be smooth, man. You can click on and go to your latest browser. And, and hear the latest mixtape, which is cool. But, you know, back then it was more of a, you know what I mean? It was more of a passion for the shit, you know what I mean? You yeah. really had to be a real lover of the music and kind of, you know, search and find that type of music and shit, so. So you think that got anything to do with the numbers going down in the way the industry I mean, is? that's just technology, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just, like I said, you can't really front on technology because technology is always going to evolve, always going to change. And yeah, this got something to do with the numbers because kids don't necessarily have to go to a record store to get shit. But the real motherfuckers don't come to the record store and still get their shit. You know what I mean? And that's real. You got some kids just downloading all that. But then you got true fans of music, they gonna spend the five dollars on the mixtape. Or, you know, come and get the real T.I. release or the Jeezy or the whole for Kanye. You know what I mean? That's just, it's just the way of the world right now. Yeah. All right, so uh, on the DJ tip, uh, is there anybody's DJ, anybody's uh, mixtape that you're looking to host or that you would like to do some work with? I mean, D Block, you know what I mean? I'm a big fan of D Block, and I already work with Dipset. I already work with my D, you know what I mean? Definitely, yeah, definitely. D Block, you know what I mean? D Block, or, you know, my man, uh, shout out my man Meek Mills, you know what I mean? Just got down with Grand Hustle. You know, that's my young boy, man. Probably fuck with him and shit. He in a situation, you know what I mean? But I think he gonna be alright. Fuck with me. Just whoever come with that hot shit. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, whoever's got the hot shit, really, man. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a fan of D-Block, man. You know what I mean? Straight up. Man, a lot of niggas be like, uh, you know, whoever. I'm like, yo, I tell a nigga, sheep, kiss, you know what I mean? The ghost. Fuck with them niggas, man. Word up. That's one uh, common denominator with uh, NewFreeMixtape.com. Every artist that's been on here mentioned the locks. Yeah, the locks, man. I mean, they are one of the last, like, surviving East Coast real niggas, man. So, you got to shout out the locks, man. Because ain't too many niggas doing it like the locks no more. That's still a group. Yeah. I mean, how many groups do you know that's still around that was from, like, I believe that bang from shit. fucking from the, the midnight? I can't name that many. De La Soul, The Locks. Damn, I'm gonna have to stop right there. You good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's talk about you, uh, Bear One, that one as a producer. Bear One, a producer. You know what I mean? I'm, I represent a group called the Control Freaks. Like I said, um, it's me and uh, my partner, Clef Dollars from Virginia, and we done. You know, like I just listed off a few artists we work with. Um, he's worked with um, Black Moon, Sean Price, uh, Blase Blase, M.O.P., you know what I mean, the Cali Agents. But, um, you know, we kind of like the beat nuts, you know what I mean? Okay. We're just like a, a two-man crew. We do our thing and shit, you know what I mean? And we, we get busy. We got the same equipment. So when I'm in Philly, you know what I mean, and my shit, you know, he can come out and rock here when I'm in VA, you know what I mean? With that nigga, he can rock out. With the same equipment, you know what I mean, that I use. So it's love, you know what I mean? Control freaks, that's what it is. We managed by, you know, EMG establishment. <laughs> Shout out to my man Older J right there. Hold it up. Oh, you check right up. Now you see him, now you know. When you see him, you know what it is. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna be a whole lot of this. It's gonna be a whole lot of this. That's a check right. Or it might be a whole lot of fists, nigga. <laughs> Out of here. What else, man? All right. So, what's your opinion on samples? I love samples. I'm always gonna fucking sample, dog. 
That's the origin of fucking hip hop, man. Real rap. Yeah. If you don't sample, man, you ain't like a real hip hop head, man. I'm gonna always sample. I'm gonna always dig for records, no matter what. You know, whoever says like, oh, you can't sample or this cause that, man, out of here, man. We get away around. We get around like sampling issues, man, because we dig for the raw samples, the rare samples. We ain't gonna just grab a Gladys Knight or a Marvin Gaye or. You know what I mean, or, or LaBelle. Even though you can find some fly shit on that, but we ain't gonna grab no Beatles. We gonna grab that raw shit, man, that we ain't gonna really have to clear because we can, we can go around that. We go around, now we love the kids. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm always sample, man. Forget about it, all day. But not no whole loops though. I mean, if a loop is hot, I'm gonna take a loop and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it right. Okay. But you know, I chop it up too though. <laughs> so we live for the chop loops. We live for everything. That's my man Indy Five right there. See, that's hood right there. So we got just I just shot the nigga out, and now he come on the block right there. That's a nigga with a turtleneck. That's how we do. See, that's how you, you never know who just pop up on the block. I just shot him my nigga out. He just came up on some cool shit. It's nothing. Come on, what's up, baby? So, yeah, getting back on the sample. I'm gonna always shop it up. I'm gonna always sample, man. The day you don't hear me sampling, the day I'm like, I'm just gonna check out. And I ain't checking out until I, you know, oh. until it's that time. Until oh, all right. <laughs> so is there a certain era like you like the, the records you like to rock with? Um, yeah. If I tell you that, I have to kill you. So <laughs> therefore, yeah, it is a certain era. Everyone exclusive. You know what I mean? Go ahead and fall back. <laughs> I can't let everything go. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm fucked up, and I ain't that fucked up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that much. Yeah, Alright. So, what projects you got coming up? Right now, man, just working on the Truck North shit, man. Yeah. You know, we submitted some shit for Jada Kiss. Um, fabulous the record is coming out. Duck Jam, Young Christian. You know what I mean? Just hustling, man. Position out beats. You know, definitely. Um, like I said, after this mob, we did two joints. Definitely want to work on some more shit with Twin and GLD. So, just see how I rotate, man. But the main thing is my man Truck North. Money making jam boys. That's on Truck North. That's Tariq, aka Black Thought. Or maybe that's the other way around. Black Thought, aka Tariq. Um, skills. Corn and my man Dice Raw. So, definitely working on some shit with them. And my, my man Tariq just got a um, solo joint. And I'll probably, you know, submit some shit to that. Hopefully that, that stick to the wall. You know, whatever, man. Whatever the fuck come through, man. Just gonna lace it. Okay. If I don't do it, Clef don't do it. If Clef don't do it, I'ma do it. It's Control Freaks, man. So how'd y'all come up with that name, Control Freaks? Because that's what we are. We was, like I said, he was the nigga who was signed to Atlantic under Ill Biscuit. You know what I mean? And I DJ for him. Then me and him became roommates. And then, you know, he was a rapper. I was a DJ and producer. And then he wanted to make beats too. So I'm like, bet. Then I heard some of the beats he made. I was like, oh shit, that's what it was. But then a lot of times, man, we just like to have our shit with the sound a certain way. And, and we just some stubborn motherfuckers, man. You know, you gotta have the shit right or it's gonna be wrong. Okay? Okay. So that's control freaks, man. We'll take over a nigga project. We're in the studio, we'll let a nigga know how the shit go, gotta go. You know what I mean? We like to interject with the artist, man. We ain't, we ain't the type of dudes to sit back and just be like, word, okay, that sounds good, you know? No, fuck that. We're gonna be like, man, do that shit again. You can ask five. <laughs> you can ask five. Nah, real rap. We just like the vibe with dudes, man, and just really like be on top of the game, man. That's all. We control freaks. And we see F-Mop get to it down, my nigga, you know what I mean? Two up, two the fuck down, let's be eight. <laughs>